Yarg viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Assassin's Creed Black Flag video because, well, I forgot how fun this game really was. And it was quite a breath of fresh air compared to other video games. And after an epic hunt for a great white shark, I did some sea battles, and you can win sea battles against bigger ships if you use a certain strategy. And that is a very basic strategy I use. It involves mortars, and basically um, you want to use the heavy guns, and you want to invest in upgrading your mortars to a point where you get the elite mortar. And if you want to invest in heavy guns, yes, you want to get to the elite heavy guns. Just invest in your weapon tree. And don't bother ramming, but you want to invest in your ram as well. Let's just get on with the hunt of ships and not great whites. When you are attacking ships, you want to come up on them and you want to open a volley with mortars. Either you want to be in front of them or behind them. And mortar range is around 500 meters or so. You want to close in and you should open with mortars. This is a schooner and it's got rum and sugar, which is good to sell. And again, you want to open a volley with mortars. Fire! Captain Lansom yeah! I have the Jackdaw's mortars upgraded to a point where one volley takes down a schooner. Usually two or three will take down a frigate, and two will take down a brig. Schooners are usually the easiest to take down, and when you board them, you only have to kill five enemies. And that's pretty easy. If the jackdaw has taken damage, repairing it is the first thing you should do. Otherwise, lower your wanted level. A good strategy is to take on a larger ship like a frigate or a brig or even a man of war and then repair the jackdaw, take down a smaller ship like a schooner, and lower your wanted level. In this case, there's a man of war, and now there is another ship. One of these is we're going to take them on and, again, use the mortars. And this is a man of war. This is a difficult ship. You will need mortar volley and heavy guns, and you got to keep moving and staying out of their mortar range. Otherwise, yeah, a man of war can take a lot of damage. And, yeah, let's just see how this battle plays out and watch what I do with mortars and heavy guns. That final volley of mortars disabled the enemy ship, but they still fired their mortars, 
and the jackdaw has taken some damage. Now, in this case, when I bring the jackdaw up and I take over the ship, and Man of Wars require a very epic shipboarding, which involves taking down enemy crew, usually 20, and either you have to kill the captain or take down an enemy scout and up even destroy an enemy flag. Yeah, Kenway has to run around. Usually when you have to take down scouts and an enemy flag, uh, don't worry about the crew so much. Let them fight it out. And you want to take down the scouts, then come back down. Take down the scouts and the flag, and then come back down and fight the crew. I like using smoke bombs and the cutlass. That is a good fighting weapon. It's a good combination of speed, power, and damage. And the smoke bombs, well, those are wonderful distractors while everyone else is choking. Um, Kenway can take down enemies like this and go for the scouts. Usually, the scouts are. Way up, you can either use a winch or climb, and you can take down one scout, then kill the other scout on the other platform. And Kenway's climbing up. I'm going to let this play out so you can see how the battle goes. Bad move on my part. I brought Kenway back into the battle. I should have gone on to destroy the enemy flag, which was right above in the um, area where the scout was. And now I gotta go back. I'm trying to kill crew here, which is not good. You can always take down crew. And yeah, this could be a bad choice for. Me, and yeah, taking on a brute, that was easy. Again, big mistake on my part, bringing Kenway back into battle before I destroyed the enemy flag. Again, I'm using smoke bombs and the cutlass to take down crew. And yeah, go back up, trying to get back up and take down the flag is going to be a little more difficult. You see, even if you take down 20 crew, they don't surrender until you take down that flag and you could potentially lose a lot of your own crew just battling through and yeah I don't know why I did this but again my bad and I gotta return to the mast and climb up and take down the flag which is a big mistake but things are working out there's the flag and you got to run up, and I'm going to use this thing and take down the flag. I'm going to repair the jackdaw and bring it back to port and rearm the jackdaw for more ship battles. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe icon and the bell icon for notification. I post four videos a week and you don't want to miss out. Thanks for stopping by.